guys what's up this is Nickelio from Dope Motion and this is my very second tutorial today I'll be showing you a cool logo review with shape layers in After Effects and I have named it the Waterbox project um I don't know why I named it like that but I just did so I'll just show you what we're gonna be creating today <laughs> Yep, so looks cool. So let's just hop into After Effects and let's get started. First of all, create a new composition. I like to keep it 920 and 1080, 1080 as always. And then what we're gonna do is right click new and shape layers. Then select this pen tool. Start from out of the frame. Now you can, you know, like keep it however you want. You know, go and just bring it up to the center right there and I'll just close this fill because we don't want it we just want the stroke right there yep so done with the stroke and now what we're gonna do is we can adjust the strokes however we want you know like literally however we want I'll just stretch it up like there and then what we're gonna do is go to add and add crimp parts so now you can see as I move the start percentage you can see we start to get an effect which I showed you in the preview you know so I'll just make it up to zero and make this end point to about zero here in the start stopwatch and go to right about um, I'll just lower it down and go to right about 20 frames or oh, I'll go to about let's see Yep, I'll go to about 1.10 frames and make it about 100. And then what I'm gonna do is go to right back there, but be but a few frames forward than the previous keyframe. I'll just hit on the end properties or end stop, as you can see, and go to right there, a little forward than the previous keyframe, and make it about 100. So what it does is the gap between these keyframes you create this water effect and makes it stay within that circumstances so now what we can do is if we want to increase this the size of the drop right here or stroke you can say I'll just select this keyframes of the end properties and drag it a little forward so now it will be a little bigger yep looks cool so now what I'm gonna do is add and control D and B and just make it below this <clears throat> so after that what we're gonna do is I'll go to right about that so that we can see it more precisely and I'll just make them uniform layers like this and to make it more precise or more cool I can just change the color so that you can see it more precisely I'll just make it a darker blue right there you can see so we have this cool thing right there yep I'll change the white color to maybe this and now what I'm gonna do is create a new background by solid so I'll just keep it I'll just keep it maroon yep it looks cool and now what we're gonna do is I'll just add an effect called ramp R A M P. I use this effect a lot to create background because it's too cool effect, you know, to create the cool background. I'll keep it black, then go here and set the radical ramp and I'll just bring it up in the center and drag this circle out now we get a cool effect right there so now after this what I'm gonna do is I'll just make it a little lighter so that looks more cool yep so right there half way through now what we're gonna do is create the box so again hit right click on it go to new and shape layers and add a rectangle and increase the size of the rectangle um right there and add and fill so that we can see it 
yep so what does the rectangle mean well oops, sorry yep so now we're gonna add a rectangle so I just right click right there go to new shape layer go to add rectangle and add and add and fill right just change this color to make it blue call it's the water box and I'll just increase the size right there I'll make it right about this big yep and add an effect called drop shadow now I use this effect a lot because it create a cool and simple shadows for the objects I'll just drag it in you can see what I mean you can see the shadow right here if I uncheck this you can see that first it was like this and then after adding the shadow it looks more cool I'll keep it 7 you can keep it whatever you want the softness to about 3 yep looks good I'll just name it the box so that I can don't mess up you know yep so now what we're gonna add an effect called CC Jaws yep and now you can see as I move this completion thing the effect starts to get in right there so now what I'm gonna do is I want a wave effect cause we are doing the water box so I just move it right there and you can see we start to get this effect I'll just drag it up right there yep so now the only thing remains is the keyframe in so I'll just go to where about the water enters right there hit on the keyframe at 93% go to about Q seconds and I'll make it about 0 right there so I'll just play it I'll just hit U to see the keyframe so that we can adjust it later as per our choice so I'll just you can see it it's pretty fast right there so I'll just go in and make it a little faster so and what I can do is I'll just cut it up because I don't want that big I want it to start right there so we can you can take your time and adjust it you know to make it look more precise and cool so now just I'll just see it it looks pretty fast so I'll just drag the keyframe out and make it look you can take your time you know yep so done with it looks cool so now what I'm gonna do is control D and control D duplicate the box three times and now I'll just arrange it properly yep I'm gonna like make three layers of the boxes now you can't see cause they are of the same color I'll just change the color so that you can see it more precisely you know yep yep you can see right there yep now you can see we have this cool thing now I'm gonna add an effect called ripple now it's not at all necessary to add this effect but I'm gonna add I'm just gonna show you guys what it does so I'll just select the second box and add an effect called ripple and now what this does is it gives a water effect you can see this ripple effect right there but I say that it's not necessary cause it it comes out of the work area so it's not at all necessary you know now you can Take your time, adjust it to make it look as per your size and as per your satisfaction. Yep, so done with it. Here we are halfway through. So now we have to work on the logo repeat right there. I'll come up to about 10 frames right here, 2.10 frames. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these boxes, all these three boxes, hit on the position. Hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position properties. Select the position. Go to right about three seconds, or maybe a middle of there, and bring them down all the way out of the frame. 
but we are not yet done here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna misplace this thing of each box so that when it comes down it won't be in an order you know it will be it will be like this yep you see right there yeah now the only thing remains is select this keyframe hit F9 and then add in text or logo or title whatever you want so I just add a text pretty quick to show you guys I'll just name it DOP Joe <laughs> I use this text a lot because it's my channel name you know finally I'll just align it in the center you know I'll just go to our right there and put it behind the boxes and cut it up by alt close bracket and then what I'm gonna do is hit S to bring up the scale properties and bring this da down to about zero hit on the stopwatch go to about right there and bring it to about 100 so now what we have we have the school animation right there and I'm gonna click on this circle so that it adds a motion blur and check it out now it looks more cool right there you can see now we are done with the tutorial and I hope you learn something new I'll just show you guys what we have done right there this water comes in right there as I showed in the preview and then it fills up this box right there and then we get a cool logo review right there you can see now yep that's it now we can see that there's a little thing right there on the screen this is what a uh, stroke is all about so I'll just come where a strokes get in and I'll just select all the three strokes and cut it up so that it won't mess out later because we don't need it so now we can see right there we have school animation right there so I hope you learned something new and thanks for watching guys.